What's going on guys? It's got the uh, JZ ready to try and take this crank pulley off. I'm also gonna try and try and get the crank pulley off, gonna try and get the oil girdle off, and I'm gonna try and get the pan off and possibly the oil pickup. Um, as you can see, I have it set up on the stand and then held by the fork truck as well because number one, this stand really isn't strong enough for this motor in general. And uh, I really don't feel like breaking anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple bolts in back here. I'm gonna wedge a pry bar in there. And uh, as you can see here, I just took the time to label up all these bins with all the parts on them. So I can just, the key to success is organization, my friends. The key to success. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna get some bolts in the back of there and I'm gonna try and bang this out. Well, that's what you do not want to happen. Fuck. That's not good. So. Yeah, now I gotta fucking deal with that. Oh boy. All right, let's get this second try. Success with a broken bolt and goddamn crank. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, well, on the plus side. It's like butter, eh? Throw a snap on wrap, why not, eh? Oh. Alright. Pretty sensual. Alright, so the bolts on this timing cover are just a 10 mil.
recommend using anything but a deadbolt hammer on this. As you can see, and <laughs> every JZ that I pull apart is literally like this. Crank pulley ripping through the goddamn timing cover. Every single one. What? I really don't know. But seems to be pretty damn well. It's always a good time. Alright, so I was just taking a little gander around here. Now I'm not sure if many people are gonna know what this actually means. Okay, see right there, Toyota with a T and then an A, okay? See how right there it says Toyota, D and an A? That is how Toyota was literally originally spelled. That is the original Toyota, right there. And then this is what they ended up changing it to for ease of the American market. So that's pretty damn cool to see that this JZ literally has the OE original logo on there so that's pretty damn nice now as you can see right there at that plug obviously a bit of oil seepage so i'm not 100 percent sure if that plug's leaking but you can definitely tell that uh, it's a little dirty around here other than that it's not too bad so now I'm going to get her up in the air. I'm um, probably just going to pull this pin right here. And then uh, slip it out of here and then actually raise it up in the air just to make it a little easier to drop the pan. Um, Alrighty, so let me set you guys down and I'll get going. Alright guys, now that I got her up in the air, I'm going to drop the actual lower pan first. The black one, and then I'll drop the third one. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and try and rotate this, if it's possible. That's not a very nice color. That looks and smells a lot like rust.
Okay, she is upside down there, my friends. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull this girdle off. And yeah, before I can pull this girdle off, Sensor, right here, this float piece of shit. That's how you need it. So, yeah. And then, I'm going to take off this turtle plate. Baffle, baffle plate. Drain line to the turbo. In the girdle. Just like that there. Look at this open there, my friend. Is that a 2J Z? Holy shit! Holy shit, man! Alright, 
So, as we can see, she's stripped apart. Let me grab a light. Show you this beautiful unit. Looks pretty damn clean. Well, don't get me wrong, the oil's dirty as hell. But, I'm quite blown away to be honest. It's, it's in good shape, man. It's in very good shape. All right, so, now, what I'm gonna be doing probably tomorrow afternoon is reseal this pan. Make sure I get all of this garbage out of there. And then I have a new gasket for, where is it? I got a new oil drain gasket, or oil pickup gasket. And that sits right on here. Sorry, sits right on there. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's that. I am changing the timing belt on this, but I just put a brand new belt on my IS300, like the GE, and it's the same motor, and I bought a Gates like performance timing belt for it, so I'm just gonna throw that timing belt on here. That'll probably get done last. I'm also gonna pull off this whole oil pump, like this whole oil pump, because I have gaskets for it, uh, like rubber O-ring seals that go on the back, so I need to do that. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll get another video going. I'm trying to release a video a day if I possibly can, if I actually have time to work on my shit. Um, I'm realistically hoping that this motor is going to be in my car before my birthday, so like before May 20th. Um, it's probably going to be in April if things go the way that they're supposed to go. Um, I just got word today that my ECU master ships, so that's A+. Plus. Um, yeah, so I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys.